All right, pops. We're live. We are live. How are you doing? Uh, you know, it's so good to see you today. All right, so we are going to jump in. We've got a hell yeah. of a title. I came up with it, so maybe I'm a little what bit is biased. It? What the heck did I say? It was like 2022 is going to be worse. Than 20- we were wrong. This is our our sob song, our apology song. Well, I'm not apologizing. Sing. You you can apologize. I'm yeah, not apologizing. Buddy. First, yeah, buddy, of the night. Okay, yeah. so here's the deal. Yeah. The chip shortage is not going to get any better. I've read that somewhere. So we've got, yeah. Actually, actually, um, I, I got an email from from uh, one of our members yeah, um, sending me a different article other than the one that you and I read yesterday saying, well, it's not going to be getting better. Yeah. No, yeah. it's it's super concerning to say the least. Yes. So let's pull up the, the article that we saw from Automotive News that came out yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. Auto chip maker warns supply crunch will last through 2022. Japan's Rome company, which supports Ford, excuse me, supplies Ford, Toyota, and Honda, says it's been hampered by severe shortages of key materials. Oh, so they're making keys now instead of chips. Is that what the problem? We're going to dive in. We're going to dive into yeah. what's going on in the chip shortage. Before yeah. we get too deep into it, though, yes. we've got a happy birthday shout out to, to the Alaska Sound guy, Alex. Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alex. Pop Happy birthday pops. to you. He wants a down go Shevska. Alex had, had one wish from YAA yeah. for his birthday. Yeah, that was a down go Shevska. Not down a yeah. go Shevska. Down <laughs> go Shevska. I think he can yeah, follow that with buddy. a yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Happy birthday, Alex. <laughs> Happy birthday, Alex. And, and also, before we get too deep into this, can we just uh, uh, wish our good friend Ken uh, Byrne uh, well? Hopefully, he's doing well, and, and uh, it would be good to hear him and get him back in the uh, in the community. Yes. Happy birthday to Alex. Um, Ken, we're sending you well wishes, yes. hoping that you're feeling well. Igor's in the house tonight. Thanks for yes. being here, Igor. Thank you, Igor. So let's dive back into this. I saw really... Melissa's in the house. Melissa too. is in the house. You know, all the usual suspects. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Yeah. It's it's uh, quite the community. Kevin Spacey might show up tonight because he was part of the usual suspects. I mean, I would yeah. be thrilled yeah. if Kevin yeah. Spacey showed Kaiser. up. Kaiser Sose. So let's break this down. Now. Yes. Japan's Rome says the vital semiconductors for automobiles and industrial machinery will likely, the, the shortage will yeah. remain in short supply at least through next year. They've given ominous warnings about the global chip crisis. Wow. What's fascinating, if you, if you read through this article, is they make it crystal clear that it's right here, unfortunately. Yeah. Delta yeah. variant, complications. Yeah, it complicates Res- everything. Resuming operations is just going to be... Nearly impossible. Yes, and and they, I, I believe somewhere in the article it said where they've they've uh, sped up their capital investment in in additional plant capacity, but that that takes time, which is one of the things that we've said all along, um, and one of the things that we felt from the beginning was that the amount of potential lost production was truly being considerably underestimated. And from what we're starting to see now, because uh, Honda announced the other day that they're they're cutting, they, they told their dealers that they, 40%. Could, they could expect 40% less vehicles moving forward to go along with Toyota At saying 40%. they're cutting 40% production for the month of September, that all along this has been underreported. Um, and and now what you see is that it's not going to go away. It's yeah. not going to go. I mean, it's this, this is going to last longer than as as everybody knows who's ever watched this channel. My predictions are so far off. But this was a prediction that I made where I said it's going to take 12 to 18 months and I, to get back to somewhat normal. And I said that six months ago. Yep. Um, and now I, I think you could still safely say it's 12 to 18 months, maybe maybe. 12 to 24 months but the prediction even though it was off is was off on the wrong side of things in that it's going to take longer than what i had predicted and and let's be clear yes we don't have a crystal ball all we can do is report what we hear from oems our, our people that work at oems yes. dealers yes and, and community members everyone that's out there we recently got i don't know if you saw this dad but i just want to talk about it a little bit we recently had this comment come back on um on a community post yeah um, you told us last year to not buy used cars then and now used car prices have gotten more expensive i am in dire need of a car and cannot wait any longer since lyft and uber is expenses i should have never listened to you and should have bought a car last year 
I just want to say for a moment here. Yeah. Our business model. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're buying a car, then we can help you and, yes. you and you pay us to help you. Yeah. It would have made sense for us to say Same. everyone should be buying cars right now. Absolutely. So to Mr. Francisco and to everyone else out there that doesn't like us because our prediction was off, we apologize. Yeah, we're terribly sorry. We're not being sorry. able to provide the perfect information. We're providing as much information as we can as and we our pro- recommendation yes. as to how to interpret it. Yes. And? So and, buy a car and sign up for a YA membership, Francisco. Yes, please. yes. And, um, and uh, you know, just for, just for uh, fun and... Um, Buy uh, an annual membership. Yeah, buy the annual membership, Francisco. (laughs) So I actually want to turn, Dad, to something that we found super interesting. It was a thread on Twitter that I think also helps everyone understand what is going on. So whether you're watching this and you're in the market to buy a car or you're just fascinated, why is there a chip shortage and what, why, like, why can't we get more chips? Why, why, why can't we get more chips? Because (laughs) Frito-Lay can't get their hands on more corn or more potatoes (laughs) to make all the chips that we need. Okay, it's just that simple. Well said. Yeah. So the real crux of what's going on, it's an awesome Twitter thread. Let me put this in the chat, actually. Yes. Let me put it back here in StreamYard. One second. Give everyone a little inception moment. All right. ASML. This is the company that builds the machines that produce. That build the chips. So it's not corn and tortilla and flour meal or anything like that. No. It's a whole thread here of what's going on. We'll hit on a few of the highlights. For example, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Keep scrolling. Keep well, scrolling. Well, the point is that they only make so many of these That's what I was gonna machines find, yeah. a year, which I think is under 50. They think it was 55. Okay. And um, they so, make 50 machines a year. Okay. And, and they need um, lenses for them. That take 40 weeks, weeks to produce. To, just to produce the lens. And then shipping these to wherever they're going to be. Yes. There are 180 tons. It takes 40 shipping containers, 20 trucks, and three 747s. Plus, they have to have, to have a team on the ground there to support it. And you have to spend at least a billion dollars to you. install Was this. That, that's a billion with a B? A billion? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when everybody says, oh, well, why don't they just make more chips? You have to have the 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 machinery that makes the chips in order to be able to make the chips and they can't produce more of those machines. Um, the chip manufacturers can't build the facilities uh, quickly enough. And, and even if you could build the facility overnight, it's going to take you a minimum of 40 weeks or so. Yeah. Just because the, of the lens. the lens. Yeah. Um, to be able to get one of those machines. So you're, you know, if, if you said today we're going to open a new facility, that's great. You're looking at least at a year. So you could order that machine knowing that it won't be ready for a year. And that gives you a year to build your building. Now, that being said, yes. can you still get a car deal? And quite frankly, and Justice had a comment a moment ago. Let me put it yeah. back up on the screen. It's cheaper to buy today than tomorrow. That's yes. about the best advice we have. Yeah, and he's at the right. moment, yeah. And he's right. Yeah. And quite frankly, I guess that's what we should have been saying six months ago. Yes. But it's really it's really challenging to interpret and understand when, well, the news, what you're getting at, what you're getting fed from Toyota and from Ford and from Rome is, eh, you know, this is the worst. That's going to be, and it's, it's going not. to get better. And it turns out it's not the worst. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. And then the real, the real kicker here yeah. is that, the consumer is the one that's ending up having to pay for this. The people that need to buy a car are the ones that are having to pay yes. for it, unfortunately. Yes. Can you still get a deal, though? And that's where I want to pivot our attention and, to. And, 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 you know, a deal is a relative thing. Okay. Um, can you get the kind of deal that you could have gotten, say, in March or April of 2021 when COVID really hit? or no, 2020, in 2020, um, you know, when everybody was panicking and they were just, you know, every manufacturer came out with 0% financing and and, and there were deals to be had. Um, But nobody understood the severity of the pandemic. Well, what supply chain impacts it was going to have. And what supply chain impact it would have. And then the pent up demand for vehicles once dealerships and and the manufacturers were able to reopen. And you have to realize that the manufacturers couldn't reopen at the same level as what they were producing before. Uh, I'm just because, gonna turn that on, but yeah. Yeah, because they you know they they couldn't get enough staff to 
um, to work in the plants to build the cars because people were sick. So it's just everything. It, it, you've heard me say it before, and people tell me it's, it's the kind of movie that makes you cry, but it was the perfect storm. And, Did and you ever this, watch Wally? Wally, that movie? Uh, isn't he a rapper from DC? <laughs> he made a movie? I shouldn't have cut you off. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Finding Nemo was the one that made me cry. That was oh, the one that's, that made yeah. Me, Wally, Wally made me cry. Yeah, no, Finding Nemo made me cry. Yeah. Yeah. What was the most recent thing you cried about? I cry every day. <laughs> 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 Can we look at a success story real quick, Bubs? Yeah, I, I want to cry tears of joy. <laughs> Igor's right. It's a robot. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that took a turn. I apologize. Yes. Also, we're hiring. Join YA.com slash careers. Look at our open positions. We need some help. Do you want to see the success story? Yes. I want, to, I want to make it clear that just because there's the chip shortage doesn't mean you can't get a good deal. Yes. Good being. Yeah. And, 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 and like we started on this tangent, it's relative. Everything exactly. is relative. This um, is from Brett. Yeah. Who is a movement specialist. This is back on this on the community forum. You know, there are days I'm a movement specialist, <laughs> but it depends on what I ate the night before. Okay. I'm we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hit that with a um <laughs> There's not a big enough bull to make that much poop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, come back here, Bob. That's, that's this is from Brett. Yeah, the movement specialist. BMW M440. Oh my success god! Story. And then you start the movement specialist with BM. Space <laughs> is a legend. Yeah. Where do you even begin? I found you guys a few weeks ago in the midst of planning our wedding for early September. Congrats, Brett. Yeah. At first, I thought this might be useful for when I lo wanted to look at cars in about um, three to five months. But yeah. the more videos I watched, the more I wanted to learn. Long story short, came to really like a M440i model, beautiful car. Yeah. And your guys, um, and your guys' guides made me feel like I would, that even in this pandemic, I might have a chance at some negotiations. I designed one on their website and loved it, and almost found the exact build at a local dealership. Great. So okay. Finding inventory. Yeah, that's one. even better. And so, so you need you need a certain level of flexibility as to what it is you will accept, whether it be color, uh, interior color, uh, equipment level. A certain level of flexibility might make it easier for you to find a deal and, and be able to write a success story. Flexibility also helps with movements. It does. I posted about it and everyone was incredibly helpful, but space really took the cake here. Uh, we're going to give Space and Brett likely a Ray Shevska stamp of oh approval. Um, Space pretty much held my hand step by step on going through the deal. And together after a lot of going back and forth, came up with some good price points and numbers to negotiate for what would be uh, what we thought would be fair in the pandemic. On a car that was marked up on the website as having a horrible chance of negotiating, we got an incredible deal. Good. The dealership at first was not going to budge um, from their offer of about 4 to 5% off the car, saying that that was just how it was for now. And they felt like the deal was already stacked in my favor. So I thanked them and I told them my price at about 10% off and they needed to find a way that they could meet me, uh, find, could find me and I would be in immediately. Yeah. We ended up settling for about 8% off and I think we could have really pushed to 10%, but it felt like a good win-win for everyone at this point. So I was can happy. I, can I say something? Please. The, the key to any car deal is that it has to be win-win for both sides it has to be the dealership has to feel like they've won the customer has to feel like they've won i get i get contentious with you on this point because the dealership wins like let's say 95 percent of the of the deals yes. so you know and the yeah. customer walks away not feeling okay so let me, i get what you're saying okay let me like, let me phrase it differently phrase it differently um, um everybody needs to be relatively happy Okay, the customer needs to be relatively happy and the dealership needs to be relatively happy and nobody should walk away ecstatic. Uh, okay. Contention. I don't know if I agree with any of that, <laughs> but that's, you know, we're different people. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, uh, yeah. The icing on the cake, the yeah. numbers were all set in stone at this point. Life was good for, uh, was good for yeah. space. Gave me one last piece of advice as well as the Zach and Ray videos online, which with, of course, Kimberly. Yes, uh, the, the F&I goddess herself. Yes. Don't fall for the finance service tricks. Granted, okay. I know for some people these products might have some true use, but for my scenario, it would be next to useless for my car. I even got to, uh, to hear the financial service. Services guys, sweet talk the woman before me into paying like 
basically about two to three hundred dollars per, more per month on her car for all the quote bonuses she was getting as she was really getting taken advantage of with his kindness but he is just looking out for her well, i was course. doing the math outside the room and for her tire replacement coverage alone she would have to replace all four of her tires two to three times in the next three years to come out on top it was wild to listen to i digress though okay that is like an example of being an educated and informed but yes when I went in, I denied all the extras, saying that I was happy with my out-the-door price as is and thanked him for his time. He kept on trying to lower the price over and over, but I truly didn't need it. He was not in good spirits after that um, in the trade, and that was okay. I actually weirdly felt kind of good, empowered. Okay. Lo and behold, I owned my first BMW, and I got it for an amazing price thanks to Space. Shout out to Space. Yes, absolutely. Space, space, space just does um, it, yeoman's work when it comes to... Uh, research and guidance and I mean so let's take a moment to to give um, the first yes of likely many yes. stamps of approval and we oh. should I love hearing your voice so me, nobody just, loves it more than I do that's that's I get that I mean I like my voice Ray Shevska stamp approval I like that so we got one of those for for obviously for Brett yeah you can keep the headphones on because I'll keep hitting you with them I okay. want to give one to Space as well Absolutely. for guiding Brett through yes, that process yes. so we'll we'll well, the great Shevska stamp of approval. And then this weekend, yeah. And this weekend, because it's the last weekend of the month, Justice yeah. has been staying on as our auto advocate doing yeah. live chat. So yes. if you're unfamiliar, let me pull it up so that you can be familiar. The way that we feel that we can help best, live chat right yeah. over here on the left. Typically Monday through Friday. We're yeah. running it through this weekend because it's the end of the month. So phone I know a just, friend, phone a friend. This we're, basically we're there what to this. Yeah. And Justice is doing yeoman's work on the live chat. You don't see it because it's yeah. not on the community forum. You click get help, click start live chat. You're talking to Justice. You're getting support through your car deal. So a huge, a huge yes. Shreshevska stamp of approval. Too. Great Shevska stamp of approval. We have an incredible community here. We Mario uh, space helping justice helping um, it, it's it's really been um, really been awesome and it's the reason I want to share that story is because you know I created the title for tonight's stream and it's we're wrong right you know you should have bought the car six months ago you should have bought the car nine months you can still buy cars today and you can still find deals it just takes well how many times have I said it patience and perseverance okay it takes patience and perseverance it takes a little bit of flexibility because if I remember reading this he built the car the way he wanted it and a dealer had one that was close similar it wasn't exactly what he wanted but it was close enough that that he could say yeah i would take that car i i remember saying the the customers when they would come in with a build yeah on a car and and i i would look at my go you know every now and then i would i would build a car the way i wanted and then I'd look at the price, and then I'd go, okay, of all the things that I have in there, what one, what ones can I live without? Because one's a dream list, yep. and then one's the reality of what I really absolutely positively have. So just be a little bit flexible. Don't don't take an intractable position. Um, intractable, uh, nice word. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm showing my chops for being a high school graduate. Uh, <laughs> And a college dropout. Um, but don't take an intractable position that won't allow you to be able to get a car or find a car. We we know conclusively that there are shortages of inventory, new car inventory in many parts of the country. We know conclusively that there's going to continue to be shortages of some of the more popular vehicles. And quite frankly, worse, worse um, situations than we had anticipated before. Yes. Yes, so that because of that, you you need you need to allow yourself some flexibility as to what becomes acceptable, whether it be color, whether it be interior color, whether it be interior material, whether it be a premium plus package or just a premium package, or you know whatever it is. But there's certain things. I mean, I have things on my Clubman as you your know, mini, yeah. That that you've driven, I've driven. And one of them is it, 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 it parks, it, it could park itself in a parallel parking spot. Okay. I used it once. And, and the reason I used it was because my dear friend Lee said, well, what's that button do? I said, well, you know, you hit that, show me. So in, in almost two years ownership, I finally parallel parked with it. Works great by yeah, the way, yeah. but 
it, did I really need that? So I want to get to a, a, a point here in addition to what you're saying, the yes. flexibility, yes. but also a lot of this is honestly digging your heels in, but digging your heels in from a negotiating standpoint on the right things. Yes. And so, for example, I think what Brett Brett's story, you know, what, what was important there and also what I think can be important for anyone listening or watching this is like have the confidence to dig your heels in on the right things. And yes. that's honestly what space was walking, handholding through. Like, do I do I push back on the money factor? Or do I push back on the resi residual? And if you're educated, you know, well, the residual set. I can't yes. push back yeah. on the residual. It's, it's a percentage. And by being yeah. more in tune with what you can and can't do, yes. you can kind of get a little further and, faster. And you, you, you also have to be willing to participate in the art of compromise. The dealership knows where they would really like to be. You know where you would really like to be. Yeah. But what works for everybody is probably somewhere between those two points. So here's what I'm thinking we do, Pops. Yes. Again, we are hiring. So if you join really? ya.com slash careers, please. Is there something I might be able to do? <laughs> Will it pay better than what this pays? <laughs> Get out of here, man. No, he, he, he pays well. The, the, the checks come in every two weeks. They clear. Regular, yeah, regular as clockwork. They, they go clear. right into my they bank clear. account now. I like it. We, our checks clear. Yeah. Um, here's what I'd like to do tonight. Okay. We haven't taken a phone call in an awfully long time yes you know i have i have uh, my little notepad right here and my pen ready to go do you and remember it, i'm gonna block it do you remember what our phone number is i, I think it's 855 something <laughs> 855 call for help 855 <laughs> call for help uh you might not get it if you dial our yeah. number yeah uh, 855-587-2886 let's take a phone call yeah it's 855 been Five eight seven two eight eight six out of towners dare not call collect. When you do get through, press option one. Yes, option one. Yes, that'll 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 move things up a little bit. We've a got a very thoughtful donation here um, from RWD. Please, thank you so much for for that. Is there some manufacturer incentive for dealers to order unpopular trim level and color combinations? Um, well, there could be in the sense that if um, there's an unusually large uh, inventory in a certain model. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and when manufacturers do things, they look at them on a regional level uh, to see what the inventory situations are on a regional level. And if, and if they see that there's, you know, mint green with a beige leather interior and a certain model and it's not moving in a certain region and, and the inventory is stacking up, then they very well could put an incentive on it but typically it's on a it's on a model excuse, it's on a model not a not a color all right we got a phone call coming in let's see here do you remember how to answer these i think i just did yeah okay. hey can can you hear us hello hey you're on with yaa what's your name where are you from what can we do to help hey my name my name is dave We're calling from washington county how you doing guys we're, we're doing well dave how are you doing not too bad, man. I've uh, I've had Toyota since uh, God eighty seven. Um, I love this show. You guys are so knowledgeable. I'm getting ready to join your yearly subscription. I got a ninety seven four runner, what only three hundred and ninety four thousand. I have I have I just got my son at Tacoma. I leased him about nine months ago, and, and my wife's uh, Rav four twenty one. I just leased, and thank God I leased it. I went today to look at some four runners. I walk into I walk into go to this dealership. They got Dodge Rams being featured uh that's because they don't have any forerunners <laughs> <laughs> they, they, no they have they, ha they have nothing and then they, i've never seen the dealership and you can correct me and i've been going to them since 87 they had a, they're featuring a 2006 there's no car 2016 plain forerunner sr5 with nothing in it like 36 to 37 thousand it, it it's crazy it it is crazy and and dave the the, the worst part is is that since toyota has announced that they're cutting worldwide production 40% for the month of uh, September, which impacts the United States by 80,000 units. It's not going to get better anytime soon. And so you've got these dealerships. The whole, the whole way dealerships have made money historically is on the back end of the car deal. The only way you get to the back end of the car deal is you got to sell the front end. You got to have deal. a front end to sell. And so yeah. we're finding rougher and rougher used vehicles to find on lots. It's funny. We're here, Dave, in, in near Atlantic City, and you drive down uh, past some of the dealerships here, and their used car lots are barren yes. but they're not you know they're not brand uh, uh vehicles they're they're off-brand like what you've seen I as well you, i went as far i said you know something 
I went to college. Let me think. I said, let me buy, let me buy a car down in South Carolina, a four wheel drive. They found the truck sticker price. I was shocked. Wow. Like four, four, but guess what? They were hitting me with all the extras in the contract. I was gonna, I was gonna take a plane down there and pick it and drive it back. It was like twenty nine hundred dollars in extras. Like you know, this is fake. These fees you talk about. I said, listen, why you? Oh, we have to charge you for this. No, you don't. <laughs> you, yeah, I'm no. not buying the house. It's not a closing cost. Yeah. But listen, you guys do a great job. I'm getting ready to join. I'm gonna be uh, hopefully. I, I'm a lot of my friends that work in uh, Toyota overseas, but they were like, hopefully in December, if we're lucky. But it doesn't look like it. But you know we, what? We can hope, Dave. We can car. hope. If you have an old four, an old forerunner. Change your oil frequently, you'll be fine. But uh, any more hints? Any any foresight in your crystal ball, guys? I love the show. We uh, got Dave from Igor in the chat, he, and Igor works in the industry. He's, he's a, a, a dealer partner, and and anyway, he says there's 650 total Toyota Tacomas in nationwide inventory right now. We're gonna have updated market day supply data likely next week. Yes. So stay tuned for that. If we have any leads on who has more inventory versus less, I know I saw Igor mentioned Ram 1500s. There's more inventory of those out there. We'll be doing the best we can to point you in the right direction, but it is. I'm definitely gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna join the yearly membership. I will pick it up in the year. You're the I man, really Dave. Appreciate the show, and you guys are great, man. It's. Uh, I don't need Netflix with you guys. Have a great day, and God bless you guys. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dave. <laughs> he just boosted our egos. Yeah, uh, very yeah, kind of yeah. My God, we're we're more important than Netflix to him. Hey. Well, let me say something. Netflix is more important to me. So. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't live without Netflix. 855-587-2886. Yes. Yeah, yeah, when you call in or if you call in, share with us your experience with local dealerships. I think that's really helpful because there are pockets where there are inventory, supposedly. Yes. Yeah. We'd love I, to hear it. Yeah. We drove cross country. When, when did we drive cross country? That uh, was, that was uh, the beginning part of May. And yeah. dealer lots were... Most most lots were were uh, sparsely populated at that time, and it's only gotten worse. And like he said, he goes to a Toyota dealership; they don't have any new Toyotas, so it's you know they're used, they're basically used car stores right now. Sorry about the loud ringer. I know how to make it not as loud nowadays. Really? You um, learned how to do that? Yes. So let me do that before this next call comes in. Wait, how do you can do, I do that? It? Please. I have it here. Ha! Ah, I just did it. Oh, look it won't at be that. as loud. Look. But then I got to change it when the when the caller calls in. Eight five 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 eight seven, two eight eight six. Out of towners, don't dare call collect. Please don't call collect. Yeah, no, don't call collect. But someone yeah. call. Yeah, yeah, someone call. Eight five 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 eight seven two eight eight six. Just call and say I need help. <laughs> Do the best we can. Yeah, give the us one... your address. We'll get we'll get the emergency personnel over there as quickly <laughs> as we possibly can. We've got a comment from Twitch. We yeah. do stream on Twitch. Dealers are crooks. We don't necessarily agree with that. However, thanks for watching on Twitch. We really appreciate yeah. that. Aman with a very thoughtful. Well, thank uh, you, Aman. Thank you yeah. for that, sir. And and you know, and I don't I I I don't want to suggest for a moment that all dealers are crooks. They're not. Okay. Thank you, Nick, for the donation. But, but but there there are a number of dealers that employ tactics that are less than consumer friendly. Oh, I had do not disturb on. Sorry, gang. Oh, okay. Try so, calling in now. Yeah, it makes it harder. Um, and that's the issue right now is at, uh, what's it? Pigs or pigs get chunky. Sl hogs get happy. Pigs so, get somebody eats a pig. That's <laughs> all. I <think>. Someone gets <laughs> slaughtered, right? Yeah, because they're getting yeah. too fat. Yeah, and that's what I think is going on right now. Yeah, I, I, and and even when it wasn't going on, I mean, even I, I mean, there's a reason that dealerships have the reputation they have. And there's a reason that consumers uh, say they'd rather get a root canal than go to a dealership. Exactly, exactly. So, Hey, you're on with YAA. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Hi, it's Liam from Illinois. Long time listener, second time caller. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> How are you, boys? Uh, we're good. Well, one of us is a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. We're both uh, boys. Yeah, but I'm an old man. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> well, I think you're both handsome and wonderful and terrific and all those good things. So oh, my it doesn't God. matter. Well, thank um, you. Thank I, you. I just had an experience recently uh, within the past two weeks. Our neighbor's son's truck got totaled. Ooh. Brand new, big F-250. There are none available here in Illinois. Wow. We checked Wisconsin, 
Indiana, and we were just going nuts trying to find one. And a Ford dealer was a sweet soul here in Illinois, found out about these boys, and made arrangements for them to get this 2016 Tundra that he had with 36,000 miles on it. Wow. It was just awesome. And he has got five people that have been looking. And I got to tell you, this used to be a hobby for me, finding and helping people get cars. And now I know how the big game hunters feel, that everything is on the endangered species list. They're just not here. These yeah. big trucks, we can find a few of the rams, but these other things, nope. Yeah, They're nowhere to be seen. It, 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 is, it, it is akin to nothing I have ever lived through before. Now, only being 70, I you know, I didn't live through the 40s. Um, right after World War II, where there, you know, there, there were shortages of everything. I had an uncle that was in the clothing business, and uh, during the early '40s, during the war years, and and my grandfather used to sell him men's and ladies' wear, and and my uncle graciously overbought, so that when when people had jobs after the war and they had money to spend, he was the only one that had clothes to sell. Um, most people aren't making that mistake of, of overbuying inventory. Dealerships haven't had the opportunity to overbuy inventory and just hide it away somewhere. And it's, this is just. I, I, was, I was a kid and started driving during the gas shortages back in the 70s. Sure. And we had cars that ran on leaded fuel. Well, a few of our neighbors bought the cars that ran on unleaded fuel. There was no fuel for those vehicles. Mm -hmm. Our old clunkers were the ones that were getting the fuel and were running. And it's kind of that kind of a situation now. You know, we're seeing these older cars and our uh, repair shops in my area haven't got enough days in the week or hours in the day to get these things fixed up. They are backed up. They're turning business away because they have so many people trying to limp their cars through the next few months or year. Yeah. Yeah. No, Leanne, it's crazy. We appreciate you sharing the story from, from your perspective and glad you were able to find something um, out there. It's, it, it is tricky. That's, we, that's we're even least. gladder that you were able to get through. Yes. Thank you for calling in <laughs> second time caller, which we greatly appreciate. Keep up the great work. Be blessed guys. All the thank best. Thank you so Thanks. much. Bye-bye. All right, we've got a uh, thoughtful donation that came in yes. from Nick. So yes. let's answer his question. I placed a reservation on a 2022 yeah. Ford Maverick. Yes. The dealer is willing to sell it for MSRP with my X plan discount. Is this a fair deal? Yes. Uh, Nick, that was the best five bucks you could ever spend. Yeah. You know, um, maybe it should have been $3 because you only got a three letter answer. <laughs> Any there. Repairs and, uh, and service are having supply chain issues too. Golf clubs. There's supply chain issues in golf clubs. I mean, and there's a Kimberly Klein sighting. Oh, the F and I got us in the house tonight. Good evening, Kimberly. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, for <laughs> sure. Um, uh, and, and yeah, that is an issue for a lot of the independent shops and, and, and even the dealer shops is that they can't get their hands on the parts they need to be able to repair some of these cars. Um, so yeah, the supply chain issues are just, we filmed a video last week with Kimberly about um, vehicle service contracts, more and more of them being sold as used car prices continue yes. to go up, speaking yes. of which, uh, back on the website, get a quote for free from us for the VSC as well. But it's because, I mean, people are getting concerned. Hey, how am I going to make sure this thing can stay straight and stay on the road? Uh, especially as vehicles well, are staying and, on the road. And, 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 and if you have to pay more and more for the vehicle. Yep. Uh, that might mean, in some cases, that you have less uh, cash available on hand if you were to ever have an issue. Yep. And so lots of people are buying extended warranties so that if there is an issue, they don't have to worry about having their cash on hand. And, and, back, and I'm not necessarily saying that's the reason to buy an extended warranty or a vehicle service contract, but I have seen cases where people have to make tough decisions and tough yeah. choices like, do you make your car payment or do you repair your car so that you have a car payment you need to be making? And back on uh, back on the website for free, you can get a quote right here and you can schedule a call with Kimberly. Um, so if you want to meet with her on Tuesday, next week, you can meet with her on Tuesday. Would that be the last day of the month? It would be the last day of the month. Wow. And again, we're doing live chat through the end of the month. If you're working a deal, Justice is there to support you. And of course, back on the YAA Community Forum, we got 
Deals and review my deal. We've got tonight's uh, stream chat here as well. If you want to have questions answered, my back God, here. look at that picture of me. I, I must have been angry when Cesare said, "Look angry." <laughs> All right, fair <laughs> enough. Let's go back to the call in line. Eight five 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 eight seven twenty eight eighty six. It's nice doing phone calls. It's been a little. Long. I love phone calls. And I, I enjoy yeah, them as well. Let me see some, if I can maybe, make. The... You know, let's see if we get any friends to call in. That'd be cool. Yeah, friends can. We can have a friends and everyone's family a friend. line. Everyone's a friend when they call. Well, that's true. Yeah. 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 Sicilian friend wants to know what's the incentive for the OEMs to end the supply issues. They make money when they sell the car to the dealership. Yes. And so the more cars they build, the more money they can make because they can sell more cars to the dealership. Exactly. So yeah. they're, I mean, the, the, what's happening here is dealerships are really ending up on top. Yes. It's, it's not the manufacturers that are, you know, I mean, I'm not saying this is, this is terrible for the manufacturers, um, but it, they they make their money. They build the plants. They need to build cars in order to work down the costs of the investment of building the plants. You're on with your oh my, I almost did it, gang. You're on with YAA. What's yeah. your name? Where are you from? It's, what can we do to help? The better Hello. question is, what's our Hello, name? Hello, Ray and Zach. Uh, this is Hassan, and I'm from Indiana. Hey, Hassan. And I'm uh, very happy to uh, be calling the show and I just recently became a premium member and I'm so happy for that. I'm getting a lot of advantages from this. Uh, I just will say, uh, tell my question, try to say it very briefly. Uh, now I'm I'm having like 2005 Nissan and me and my wife need to get a new car. Uh, we, we need it. It's not like a luxury which we can postpone it. Uh, we are comparing between a RAV4 hybrid to 2021 and an Outlander Mitsubishi plug-in 2022. The RAV4 Hybrid is not on the dealer lot yet, uh, and the outdoor price is going to be 3550, uh, 3500, and the dealer is not accepting any negotiation of that kind. Uh, the Mitsubishi Outlander uh, is 41500, but there is like 7500 uh, dollars of rebate, uh -huh. rebate because it's plug-in. Yep. Um, and my concern. So as you can, as I said at the beginning, now the car I have is 2005 Nissan and the car which we are planning to get, we are planning to keep it uh, like as long as it can live, like at least 15, 20 years, hopefully, if we can live that long and the car can live that long as well. <laughs> uh, so our, the, our point of comparison basically are like the uh, mile per gallon, uh, the service contract uh, price, uh, insurance price, like the price to keep the vehicle. Uh, on the other, like I just want to say something just to make the the figure like uh, clear in front of you, that actually the RAV4 one, uh, I made the deposit for another one, another one hybrid, which was supposed to get for me like a month ago, but then I received a call from the dealer saying that uh, I like we don't know what happened to the vehicle, it just didn't make it to the dealer lot. So I said, sorry, maybe the English is not my first language, that's why I didn't understand what you're saying, so where is the car? He said, we don't know. And we have another car coming that will be $3,000 more expensive. I made like complaint at Toyota and uh, long story short, uh, he offered me that new car with the invoice price. But they are trying like to upset me so I can just say I don't want to get the car and I should take my money back. Hassan, quick so, question uh, for you. How can we help while we're on the show? Because I would love, I'd be thrilled to see you post some of these deals back on the Review My Deal channel yes. so we can help you there. What can we do for you here, yeah. my friend? Yeah, thank thank you. Uh, so um, I don't know if you have an advice for me. <laughs> here's my advice. It, here's my advice. Don't get mad at him. Don't don't let him get you okay. so mad that you ask for your money back. If he's willing to sell you the vehicle at invoice, even though he doesn't want to do that, he he hopes to piss you off enough that you that you just say no. I'm yeah. walking away. Um, yeah. To, you yeah. know, just stay patient. Uh, bite your tongue. Yeah. Get the car yeah. at invoice. And yeah. then, and then, as you drive away, you can thumb your nose yeah. at him and 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 know that you uh, you turned everything around and it all worked out for you. Okay, that's uh, that's great. Even that's, like the new one, he didn't send me the auto door price. He just called, told like uh, said to me on the phone, but he sent to me the VIN number. Okay. Um, but I guess that should be okay, or uh, I should communicate with him to so he send me the out the door. Yeah, price. keep get keep the out the door price. Yeah, yeah make sure you get, get the out the door price, price before you before everything. Uh, okay. Okay. Start there, Hassan. Uh, yeah, thank you. Post and, back uh, on the community, and we'll, we'll yep. do the best. Thank we you can so much. Bye bye you. now. Bye bye. Bye.
All right, we've had some donations come through. Let's let's acknowledge yeah, this. Why don't we hit him with the two thousand dollar doc fee? Okay, he's <laughs> calling from Florida. <laughs> Yeah, the wild wild west of doc fees. um okay wanted to do a few things here so we've got um icy yeah thank you for the donation just bought my dream car was on the lot for 45 days got a thousand dollars off got interest rate three percent thank you for all your help watching your videos save me we will definitely give that a quick little the rain shefska step I'm up overall that's always great yes. to hear and I then, didn't hear it. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you, need, you need better hearing aids. Oh, Core guy, thank thanks you. for being in the house. A Patel armed with a YA subscription is without a doubt a card. Oh, no, nope, we can't. No, no, Sorry, no. Core guy. should have read that before. Yes, I, you should have. That my was, apologies. Yes. Um, yeah, we don't. We don't. Um, uh, that's not acceptable. Yeah, that's a nice way of saying it. Yep. And we will not tolerate that. Okay. Um, why are and we're not giving you your five bucks back? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> if you want your five bucks back, we'll give you your five bucks back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know how that works, but yeah. anyway, let's move on. Okay. Um, let's open the. Um, uh, thank you for apologizing, Corey. Let's. Yeah. Um, how about this? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Let's run back through the news headlines. We'll do one more round of call in, and then we'll go. We'll go from there. Sound good? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm at your beck and call here, buddy. This is, you know, this is this is my gig. This is what I do. This is my Saturday night. Hey, and there's a piano concert afterwards, so it doesn't get much better than this. We are definitely going to a piano concert after this, which yes. we're very excited about. Okay, I wanted yeah. to see here. Let me see if I can pull it up. Give me one second. Can you vamp for a second? Uh, yeah. What do you want me to talk about? Uh, the tinkle, oh. tinkle in the keys. Uh, uh, in the Andy, keys. Andy and his concert. Did you? Did you want me to talk about the short? There, I don't know if you've heard, but there's a shortage of cars. Have you heard that? Yeah. All right. So those of you that are just joining, we're going to come back here. So it was a uh, Rome company. Yes. Who supplies Ford, Toyota, and Honda. They're the ones saying this is going to last through 2022. Yes. Which is why we titled tonight's stream. It's probably going to get worse. And we were wrong. Well, you know, as, as it turns out, we've been wrong on every prediction we've ever made. Okay. <laughs> You know, I mean, literally. We, That's so sad. Well, it is. Well, so you know, it, it, to, yeah. I We're mean, so honest, at least. About yeah, it, at least we admit it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've been wrong. Um, but, but you know, not wrong in a bad way, just wrong. You know, because all of these are any, any prediction of the future is nothing more than then at best an educated guess. We did we did see though. Dad, yes. Do you see this? This is retail. Used retail prices tick tick down. Tick down. Oh my god. So used retail prices have come down a little bit. Yeah, but but that was after they ticked up after they had ticked down before. So they're not even back to the level that they had ticked down to six or seven weeks ago. Yes, I was trying to find a silver lining. But that is a silver lining. So they've ticked down a tad which means they're still way overpriced. Jack wants to know how we did in Vegas, about as good as our predictions are. Um, well, you know, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could you you vamp on that. But. No, no, no. The truth of the matter is uh, we, we did poorly in Vegas, we did, we did. which is why we're going back. <laughs> we are going to be back in Vegas. Yes. 855-587-2886. That's we're, the we're, number. We're doing this again? It's the number to call. Okay. All right, we'll yeah. open the phone lines back up, see if we can help anyone. Yeah, it's just, it's it's um, it's unfortunate what's going on. However, I do think it will force the industry to get better about customer service because we're going to move towards a one price. I don't think the OEMs want their dealerships marking things up. We had, I'll pull it up actually. Let me pull it up here. Um, general channel, give me a second. I, I, I know... The, the manufacturer will state they, they don't really care what the dealer sells it for, and they don't. But they would like to know that the, that the dealer is taking care of the customer, even though when the manufacturer has the opportunity, they don't. Uh, can you mute us in the background? You're on with YA. What's your name? Where are you from? What can we do to help? Uh, hey, I'm uh, Dave Bauer. I'm in uh, Mesa, Arizona. Hey, Dave. Oh, I was born in Mesa. Yeah, That's he, cool. Zach was born in Mesa. Oh, very, very cool. Yeah, I've been here for about 25 years. Um, I've been enjoying your uh, your YouTube programs. It's been very educational. I love the support you give and the intel uh, on the other other side, the dark side. Uh, so really grateful for that. I just joined uh, as a premium member. Bless your I've heart. Been, uh, communicating. Uh, pardon me? I said bless your heart for that. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. 
been communicating with Justice. I'm trying to buy a uh, Hyundai uh, Santa Cruz here with a dealership in Santan whose reputation is no bull. Uh, okay, yeah. The, uh, a lot of, so so I, I'm not being familiar with the area, but that would be the Ehrenhardt dealership? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they added about 5% of the cost of it with dealer uh, added items that I, I don't want couple I could live with. I was just communicating with Justice about the security system. Um, can you know, w- Once it's been installed, I really can't say that I don't want it. Well, you could say that you don't want it. And you, you, and uh-huh. you, and you could say, um, not only don't I want it, but the fact that you're going to force me to take it, I don't want to pay for it. Now, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know what they're, what they're charging for the security system. Um, but if if there's others, I, I, if there's stuff that the dealer installs in the car, those things are usually installed, and they have a very high profit margin built into them. Um, Peel the curtain back, and Dave, what's the uh, what's the price on the security system on your quote from them? Uh, yeah, I've got it on the, uh, the addendum to the Monroni. Yeah, they're uh, eight hundred bucks. Okay, so so if I were to guess. You know that probably cost them about four hundred dollars, maybe less. Okay. But but so there's four hundred dollars. So so even if they, even if you said to them, "Listen, I didn't ask for it. I know you put it on all the cars. I don't want it. I don't want to have to pay for it." Um, mm-hmm. You know, perhaps you can negotiate it down to their cost of it. So okay. some all of right. these things because. And my guess is on the Santa Cruz, they're going to be in short supply initially. And yes. every dealer is going to want, want to either charge additional dealer markup or they're going to load those vehicles up with extras like Earnhardt is doing. Um, mm-hmm. So it's 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 just a question of negotiating the cost of some of those extras to try and mitigate the total price of the vehicle. And I just want to pose a quick question to my dad, Dave. So your thinking is with everything that you understand going on in the market, a realistic end game is I'll pay cost. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, because in a, in a prior state, it's uh, I didn't ask for that. I don't want that. Yes. But in this market, you're thinking, all right, if I can get them to cost. And, and, and here's the key. I mean, Hal Earnhardt knows um, that at what they charge the internal cost to the sales department, that ultimately Earnhardt is making a profit on that internally. Yeah. Can you explain that? So yeah. the sales department actually so, so writes here's an the, RO. So here's the deal. The, 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 the sales department uh, creates a ticket to get work done on the car. The service department writes a repair order, an RO, to do this work. Typically, the, they ask for a PDI, which is a pre-delivery inspection for when the new car comes in, and then they list all the accessories that they also want added during the time that they're doing the PDI. Now, if one of them is the security system, okay, it literally might cost the Earnhardt organization $200. But internally, Mm -hmm. they have the service department sell it as an installed item to the sales department for $400. So there's an internal profit that the Earnhardt organization is getting. Now, the sales mm-hmm. department attempts to sell it for $800 so the sales department can have some additional profit. Yeah. But the dealership's already made money on it. Now, one one thing, Dave, yeah. before we let you come back in, do you think Dave was like in between like dinner with his wife or something? He's like, I'm going to call in real quick. And then we no, just start, it's, it's you a, and I just start chatting. It's a quarter to four there. It's a, 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 a siesta, a late lunch. Oh, my God. The restaurants aren't even open yet. It's well, maybe in East Mesa yeah. they are. You know, maybe around Leisure World they are. <laughs> for, <laughs> but, you know, yeah, well, in the not, rest of Mesa, they're, they're not open that. yet. Fair enough. All right, Dave, get back in here. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the uh, the other question that I have is, uh, I appreciate your guidance on that. I'll, I'll research it. My concern is, is uh, I come in from a test pilot background and data bus aircraft with data buses and cars now. An add-on system like this will it can it eventually cause problems in the electrical system, the bus management, things like that? Uh, the, the 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 people that produce that item will tell you it it wouldn't. Um, the the possibility exists that it could. Um, mm-hmm. There, 
some some of these items are easier to install on some brands of vehicles than on others. Um, Do you know so, any that were notoriously like? I, I just I know that they're because of like the wiring systems in a mini. It was like. And and most minis, for instance, do not come with a uh, with an alarm system. And if you wanted to add an alarm system to a mini, the likelihood was that you were just going to open up a can of worms with other issues because they they didn't have compatible plugs, so they had to start okay. cutting and 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 splicing wires together. Talk and about community, RWD, please. Yes, it will cause problems. The connectors they usually use to wire it will stop working eventually as corrosion sets in. He's an, he or she is an automotive wiring harness. There you have it. Uh, yeah. Community, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's 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 my concern because my experience integrating systems to the data bus was painful. Federated systems that stood alone. Uh, were their own nightmare. So uh, do you know if uh, Hyundai dealerships will factory order or is that just not done? Um, they work off, they typically, I believe, work more off of an allocation system than a factory okay. order system. Um, okay. Uh, and, yeah. and with the Santa Cruz just coming out, they're going to be in short supply to begin with. The only thing that you could hope to do and this would be a suggestion, is to say to them, listen, I know you probably have some that are scheduled or already allocated because, let's face it, the Earnhardt mm -hmm. Group out there is one of the largest group of, uh, of dealerships sure. for the volume of cars that they sell. So they could say, <clears throat> we, you could say to them, I, I want to pick one of the cars that is c incoming and and – once it arrives, let's agree that you're not going to install this item or that item, and I'll buy it without any of those extras added to it. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Because yeah. they, they would probably, my, my supposition is they're going to have a larger allocation than most other Hyundai dealers in the Phoenix market. Right, right. Yeah, I'm looking to deal with them because uh, they're not putting an ADM on the Santa Cruz yet. But they do have a ten thousand dollar ADM on the Palisade. Wow! Yeah. Um, I also live uh, part time in Colorado. I've checked dealerships there, and the uh, the number one rated on Dealer Rater uh, for Colorado, uh, they got back to me and said they will not accept a cash arrangement. It has to be financed, and they are putting a five thousand dollar ADM on it. Wow! So I've, I've got I'm a not question. Deal with them. Question yeah. for you, Dave, and a question for the community at large. Would it be useful if we put together YAA ratings because I like dealer rater as a concept, but I wonder sometimes should the number one dealer rater rated dealership be yes. a dealership that's doing fun? like it'd be great. Yeah, but if they might. Like you know, they we, may I say something and not to interrupt, but I'm interrupting. Um, what I was going to say is they might be number one, um, and and two, three, and four might be adding ten thousand dollars in additional dealer markup. My point was going yeah. to be <laughs> yes. that that yeah, through absolutely. our community, because what's really unique about YAA is like everyone's pretty much like either actively or has recently been purchasing. And I wonder just like if the, the frequency of the information they have. Anyway, I don't know. Should we do YA reviews? Yeah. Open question. We should. My dad yeah. says we should. I think yeah. we should. Yeah. Well, Dave, thanks for calling okay. in. Good luck with everything. And we look forward hey, to thanks. seeing your post back on the community. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and so yeah. the suggestion, get them to give you a vehicle that's incoming that they haven't installed anything on yet. Get them to yeah, reserve like one of those idea. for you. Yeah, I, thank you. I, I appreciate that guidance. That's what I'm really after. Yep, that's that's hey. the direction I would go. Yeah, yeah, SEL Premium with uh, nothing on it, and then we'll go from there. Exactly. Beautiful. And, and my guess is that you know you're going to pay MSRP, but maybe you can get them not to charge you anything for additional dealer markup. Dave, thanks. Yeah, for and calling. I'm, oh. I'm I'm willing to go MSRP. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for calling in. I was going to say, what hospital is I hey, Thanks. For um, I forget, but I don't know, it but was in drive, Mesa. Drive by it. You know, you were you were conceived and born All right, in Mesa. Goodbye, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. Well, Why? you were. Why? Are you sure? I thought it was when you guys were on vacation. Uh, no, no, that's when we figured out your mother was pregnant. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We got a poll running. We had a uh, donation come in from William Lee Pops. Hi, guys. I'm looking. Thank you for it. I'm thank looking you, at William. a MK8 Volkswagen G Golf GTI that will be sold in the U.S. hopefully in October. Is it best to wait for the end of Q2 2022? Uh, more than likely. Yeah, on a brand new vehicle. Yeah. Likely. Yes. Yeah. I mean, because you're just looking. I mean, for instance, no inventory. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, and 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 Volkswagen is being hit with chip shortages at the moment as well. So, yeah, yeah. All right, so I want to um, pull up one thing for us to kind of begin to to close out on here. We have a poll running there, so please answer that. Okay. I found yes on the internet yes probably the most atrocious dealer markup I've ever seen a sixty five thousand no, dollar Hyundai Veloster Veloster right there. You see that Veloster. The yeah, MSRP is thirty four thousand nine hundred thirty five dollars. Okay. Then we've got a thirteen hundred dollars Smart Shield Armor All Exterior Paint Protection. Ooh, just the just the exterior. Then we've got eight thousand dollars in additional dealer markup. Hey, seems reasonable to me. Then we have eighteen thousand dollars in For performance. Pack. Well, you know, whenever cool, we're upgrading the downpipe and oh my god, I don't need this. And then and then a classic sixteen hundred dollar GPS tracking. Yeah, and then a well. thousand. Eleven hundred dollars and nitro fill yeah. gets you to sixty five thousand. Oh my God! Now I remember. Would Russell Westbrook stand behind that? That is the question. Uh, well, he better not stand in front of it, because <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure the guy would put it in drive and hit the gas uh, if he stood in front of it. Sixty five thousand uh, yeah. dollars. Yeah. Well, you know, just that's just in case his hoop career doesn't take off. Um, so I, I will tell you that we at at, at the Acura store I work. In, yeah. in North Scottsdale, we took a Zanardi edition NSX. This and is the I, 90s. Forget, I forget what year it was. Um, and, and they made 50 of them. And they were in honor of Alex Zanardi, the yeah. race driver. And Alex got number one. And, and somebody else got number two. So there were basically, there were 48 available yeah. for the United States. We had one of them. Yeah. And uh, they were selling pretty quick. And the area vice president said, we need to do some things to this car. I said, what do you have in mind? He says, well, I want to put it on a, uh, a Comtech exhaust and Comtech uh, yes. things for the engine. And we need to put on uh, BBS three-piece wheels in the front, uh, 18s yeah, yeah. in the front. And, 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 and this car had an MSRP of like eighty five or $88,000. And after our Johnny Go Fast package, um, it was a hundred and twenty thousand. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I said, to him, "Well, this is one of only fifty in the world." He said, "When we're done, Ray, it'll be one of one." And yeah, we sold it. Couple comments though. Couple comments. Yeah. I'm fairly certain yes. in the state of California, which is where that uh, that Hyundai Veloster that we were just looking at yeah. is, that will no longer pass emissions. Like I'm fairly certain. Oh, well, I don't know. No, I'd, I'd be I'd be surprised. No, it'll pass emissions. They can't sell it if if it doesn't pass emissions. They can't sell it with forty thousand dollars in markup. But it was they are. only thirty. <laughs> they get the hell out. Of here. <laughs> it was thirty something thousand. It was a thirty. Car for 65 with- that's 31 <laughs> grand but they were actually doing things to the car but you get know and some of, of it and some of it was performance get stuff get out you know i mean some of it Gus some- wants to know yeah you think the shortage will affect motorcycles yeah there's a really fascinating interview out there Hoskus, if i can find it i listened to it, it as a podcast it was an interview with the ceo of uh, harley davidson Wow, um, talking about how the chip shortage has affected their business. Um, okay. it, it has and it will. Uh, yeah, and I, it has to. Thank you for the donation. I want it's, to it's affecting it. everybody's business. My God, for Mercedes Benz, it's affecting their ability to be able to produce V8 engines for their vehicles for next month. Even Igor agrees that's crazy. Dad. I didn't say it wasn't crazy. Dad, you're you're are you in, are you in with the dealer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get accused all the time. I mean, and then and then some people go, well, why do you? Why do you begrudge the dealers making a profit? I, I don't begrudge them making a profit. We just want to educate the people so they know what to be on the lookout for so that they can mitigate how much profit the dealer makes. I don't I there's nothing immoral about making a profit. Nothing at all. What's immoral is some of the ways dealers choose to do it. And how people are treated. Yeah. While they're getting And you know what I've learned? Yes. A lot of the people in the dealership are treated really poorly too. Like Camelia yeah. shared stories with me. Yeah. You've shared stories. Yeah. Anyway, Golnara. Yeah. Thank you for Thank the $10 donation. Yeah. Hi, YA. I'm looking to buy a used minivan 2016 and up for yeah. work that I start in May 2022. Should I buy now before prices go even higher? Or take my chances and wait. What would you do? Thank you. I'd be trying to work a car deal right now and I'd be running and comparing the value that I get, the OTD price that I get 
with uh, Carvana yes. and Vroom and Shift and CarMax and BlackBook. Like every day I would be working a car deal and comparing. And when I find one where the Delta. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> where the Delta yeah. is significant enough. Yeah. I'm going to pull the trigger. Okay. That's me. Yeah. And I'm going to get a pre-purchase inspection. I, I understand they're ha- going to have some issues at the Delta uh-huh. in Mississippi and uh, Louisiana. as probably starting tonight and into tomorrow. Yes. Yes. This is this is Yeah, so don't true. be hanging out on the Delta. Don't be hanging out the Delta when you're looking for yeah. the Delta. Want to pull up briefly Instagram. We post on Instagram. We have an we, Instagram. We Your do. Advocate Alliance, YAA. You is can that follow us? you can follow my dad at Raz is Jazz. Fantastic photos when he posts. I post a bit more frequently than my dad at no, you don't. I post my story. I post my story. I'm going to post my story tonight. Okay. I'm going to post to your story for you tonight. Oh, Follow wow. my dad on Instagram. You will see something on his story. Maybe tonight. I'll take a picture. I would love to get a photo of you tonight that you could post on Instagram. Okay. Got another donation coming in here from Kyle. So we're staying on. Hi, ya. My dealer has a 2021 Camaro LT1 coming in September. Should I go for this or wait for a 2022? Also, should I trade my car in with the dealer or go to Carvana? Thank you. Well, we get a get a. A, a trade quote from the dealer and see how it compares to the trade quote or the the buyout quote from Carvana. And if with the tax savings that you get by trading it in, if that is close to or equal to or greater than what Carvana is giving you, then you trade the car. If it's less than um, what Carvana is giving you, then you sell the car to Carvana. I just tossed in the chat the um, uh, Trade and Tactics for Success guide that we, we have, Kyle. We wrote that too? You wrote that. When did you write this? You wrote this back in September of last year. So take a peek at that. And yeah. the other thing I'll mention is we have the trade, um, uh, the selling and trading channel back on um, the community as well. Uh, my dad's done some writing here. So take a peek in this channel, post in this channel. And then with regards to buying the 2021 versus the 2022, get the OTD price, see what it looks like. If it's outrageous, move on. If it's not, consider it. And, and you know, I mean, when are they going to really have the 2022? I, exactly. I don't know. I mean, you know, with all these chip shortages and everything, it's, you know, sometimes the, the, the uh, what's, the, what's the phrase about a bird in hand is worth two in the bush. A pig gets fat. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and, and, the, and the pigeons get shot. All right, yeah. so we are going to end the poll that we were running around yeah. about um, if we should um, uh, create well, dealer reviews, YA dealer reviews. 86% say yes, 8% say no, 4% say do something else. Cool. So we'll, we'll work towards creating. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, what's the something else? Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Yeah. What is the something Let's else? Let's do that poll. What's the something else that you would have in mind? <laughs> we'll send out a survey soon. Stay yeah. tuned for that. Yes. Pops, we got another donation here from Angel. Thank, Thank you, you so Angel. much. Looking to purchase a car under my business, do you recommend leasing or buying and writing off depreciation? Well, check with your accountant and, uh, and uh, listen to him and do what he says. In a lot of cases. Uh, Whatever you, she said. What, yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, but leasing typically works best for businesses because they can write it off. Yep. Yep. Typically. But your accountant would know better than I do. And I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Igor is mentioning many manufacturers are delaying the release of their 2022. I bet you we get a bunch of news on this over the coming weeks. Oh, I'm sure we'll be seeing that shortly. We've got a good data source at Four Eyes, which we'll share uh, back on the community forum as well, that uh, monitors 2021 versus 2022 versus 2020 inventory on dealer lots. We'll share that back on the community. Pops, I think the final thing I want to mention tonight yes. is um, a, a huge big thank you to everyone that has become uh, a part of YAA, both through these streams, back on the Join YAA website, on the community forum, joinyaa.com slash community, and the folks that are becoming a part of our team by joining us as yes. full-time employees of YAA. It's kind of crazy to say that because this just started as a YouTube channel with you and me, and now we're, we're, we're trying to build out the software piece. We're trying to build out the community piece. If you know someone who's interested in working with us, if you think you might be interested in working with us, I'm going to demonstrate where our uh, where our careers page currently lives, and we'd appreciate seeing an application from you or share the uh, share the resource with a friend. Yes, go to the website joinya.com, click on careers. We are hiring for software developers. These are remote positions, or if you're in the Bethesda area, join us locally in Bethesda. Yeah, because I, I understand. I haven't been to. We it have yet, an office, but I hear it's a lovely office. We've got a product. I've seen the exit role. sign. We've got a product designer role that we're hiring for. Yeah. If you like the idea of of being helping like space, people. like Justice, yeah. like Kimberly, join us as and an me occasionally. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to get back in there, man. You got to, I mean, you, you can't just be the talent. You got to be like the executing talent. We'll talk offline. Head of marketing. <laughs> you need to post more on Instagram, dad. Head of marketing. We're hiring a head of marketing. Anyway, yeah. join our team. Yeah. Um, you get to work with me. You get to work with my dad. And uh, generally speaking, we have a really good time. Yeah, for the most part. I'd say it's fun. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm having a good time. We got a piano concert to go to. Thank yes. you for everyone tuning in. I'm going to take a photo of my dad tonight again at Raz's Jazz on Instagram. I can't wait to post for you. Thank you. And I'll take a photo. And I can't wait to post my photo. Well, of whatever take a photo I take. Of you. Oh, you're going to take a photo of something. Yeah, it might be Andy. It might be you. It might be. It might be. Uh, who the hell knows what it might be? T- tune in. I don't know. Out. We something that catches my eye tonight. Here, wait. Let me put your. Uh, let me put your link. Yeah, there's there's my link there's right your there, link. buddy. Yeah, the missing link. Yeah. There's the link. Oh, yeah. JC says, please answer. We're going to pause for JC. Okay, you, where uh, was it? Seven o three from JC. Seven o three, JC. Uh, well, you're at seven o two. I'm at seven o two. JC, I don't, I don't know what to answer, JC, because well, we need a contest for few, yeah, we do. We need to be running a contest. We'll run a contest. Okay, well, JC, what was it? Put it in again, real quick. What was it so we can answer? Everyone's saying goodnight, JC. We yeah. gotta end it. Yeah, come on, JC. I'll, I'll do my best to answer it. Do 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 do. Good night, everyone. It was it was fun. Thank you all.